hi guys so i'm back the what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our fly extension first what we want to do is prepare it and we're going to sew the seam at the bottom yes i know the seam allowance is half an inch but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to make it a quarter because we want the fly extension to be longer than the fly face seam so what i'm doing is i'm simply folding it and then I am going to sew this seam at a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay. Once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is press this. So I'm going to flip it inside out and I'm going to press it. Basically, this is what you want it to look like. All the way to the top. See that? And press it so it's nice and crispy. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side of my pant. I am going to attach my fly extension. I'm going to attach my fly extension from here all the way down to about a quarter before my fly extension ends and then I'm gonna stop so a quarter of an inch this is where my fly extension is going to be ending I'm going to sew half an inch from here to a quarter before my fly extension ends which is about right there where my pinky is extension and back stitch and I'm done so now I'm going to do my fly facing and I'm going to sew from the top to a quarter of an inch before the ending of my fly facing so right there it's going to be all the way from the top to a quarter before my fly facing ends facing well this is a little bit more than a quarter but it's about the same thing you can see it's stopped I can open it I can lift it up a little bit I'm gonna do the same thing for my fly extension so you can see this is where it is see how I can lift it up a little bit yes I'm gonna press this seam open for my fly facing and I'm just going to press this seam closed, shot flat from my fly extension. I press my fly facing open and my fly extension, I just pressed it down like that. See it on the back? Nice and flat. Now I'm going to change and switch my presser foot from the regular presser foot to the zipper presser foot, the really skinny one. And 
So I'm taking my front, both front sides, and I'm literally placing them right next to, on top of each other. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to sew at a half an inch seam allowance. It might be easier for you to start from the top and maybe end at the bottom. Whichever one is easy for you, feel free to do. But making sure that you can catch all four layers. And remember how we stopped a, um, at this seam? I don't know if you guys can see where my stitch is. I hope you can. Let me see. Let me get the lighting right. Okay, that seems to be much better. Okay. So you guys can all see where the seam is, where my thread is. So I'm going to start from where my thread is all the way to this end. And where my thread is it's basically my little quarter of an inch um, before the ending of the fly facing the same thing should apply for the back naturally um, so we should catch all four layers I'm just going to be sewing all the way from here through to the back and remember at the point for my zipper where I snipped the little notch see how this is flipped and because this is flipped it's easier for me to manipulate this section of the pant so it's easier for me to see and I'm going to try my best to make sure that I catch my front pant and not my fly facing so that entire these all these pieces on the inside are hidden. Okay, Pick that up, making sure that everything is out of the way. Trying my best to find the seam. And I can see that I'm over it, so I'm just gonna start sewing. And also going to try my best to move all of this out of the way that's another tip with making when you sew a quarter of an inch before where it ends you can just use your finger to move some of the fabric to the side that way you can make sure that you're not catching the pattern piece for your fly extension and your fly facing so just using my finger just to move them to the side a little bit and I'm making sure I'm literally right over that seam okay and I'm just gonna start sewing go forward a little bit flip it inside out to make sure that I didn't catch anything I didn't want to catch and if you look at this look at how pretty this is see close I didn't catch anything there's no fullness here yes that's coming off a little bit but it's okay by the time I put in my J stitch that's going to hide all that mess Keep in mind that if you want to do a top stitch or an under stitch, this is the time that you would want to do that. So I'm going to come over here. I'm also going to switch my presser foot because I can do that now.
understitch is done and now I'm just gonna put in my J stitch and voila uh oh I don't know what's going on with my machine so now this is my fly stitch with my understitch and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it tuck it underneath and then do my J stitch I don't have a template so I'm going to have to fold this and use the edge of my presser foot to guide me so here I grab this and make sure that this is nice and flat where everything needs to be I'm just gonna flip it over a little bit so I can see and I am going to do my J stitch all the way through to this point so I'm starting from the top and I'm going all the way through to this this point right there Making sure that I am not catching my fly extension, guys. Go. Do a little back stitch. Cut that off. Cut it off. There's something crazy going on with my machine, but this is where the seam should be. And then the last step of what for what we're doing tonight and then we're done is we're just going to tack down the fly extension to the fly facing somewhere so it can be anywhere it can be this edge it can be just somewhere where it tacks it down so that it doesn't open all the way and flip through to the other side right so we just want to tack it like down there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it making sure that I'm not catching my pants I'm literally just grabbing my fly extension and my fly facing Can you see that and then I'm just gonna put them together just quarter of an inch nothing crazy forward backward forward again and I'm done now I know this is crazy ignore that there's something going on with my bobbin but you get the gist right and yes a couple of these threads are coming loose since everything is attached there I can maybe just go ahead and take those out or if I wanted to do a little top stitch there all the way through to tack everything and hold everything together so my machine had been tripping for a while I just didn't notice so I'll fix that but um hopefully you guys understand everything and I'm sorry for this mess um yeah I'll definitely be doing another one with the zipper, so I think that should also help. Um, see you guys in class soon.